It now gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, a long-term friend and partner of the Climate Group, uh, Premier Jean Charest of Quebec, who has a 20-year history of leadership on this issue, uh, led the Canadian delegation at the Rio Earth Summit in 1992, when he was Federal Environment Minister, uh, and has also been a strong advocate of state and regional government action, uh, hosting a summit in Montreal just a few years ago with us that has now led to a state's alliance of more than 60 subnational governments around the world uh, joining forces to show that all levels of government can and will play their part on this. Uh, and Premier Chure also uh, co-chairs the Climate Leaders Summit that we'll be hosting in Cancun and we had in Copenhagen last year. Premier Chure. Thank you, Steve. Mesdames et Messieurs, merci beaucoup de l'accueil. Thank you very much, Steve. And I want to say that I'm delighted to participate in this event as we were here last year for Climate Week and with the Climate Group. And uh, the government of Quebec has been a partner of the Climate Group uh, for a number of years now. And uh, we have been working together on what we believe is a, a holy alliance among governments and the private sector and uh, people of goodwill who know how important this issue is for the future of our children. Uh, Steve was kind enough to mention that uh, I'm, uh, I'm from Quebec, I'm from Canada, and I want to speak briefly to that to give you a sense of why this issue is so important for us. And for those of you who are not familiar with uh, where we're from, we're in the state of New York, we go all the way up to the border, the northern part of the state of New York, and the province of Quebec starts there and goes all the way up to the Arctic. The size of our territory in Quebec alone is three, size, three times the size of France. We are Canada's biggest province in terms of landmass, second biggest province in terms of population, about 8 million people. And Canada's only 34 million people. And so why is it that this issue is so important for us? Well, because we are a northern country. Northern... Uh... <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen... <coughs> This, Everybody this, heard that warning. This is a very lucky break. You said, Steve, <laughs> whoever's phone rings has to make a sizable donation. <laughs> He'll be funding my government for the next two years. <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Soros. And as I was saying, so, so for us, as, as Quebecers and as Canadians, this is a very important issue. The other thing that explains why we want to be part of the climate group and part of this, is that we live within a federal system of government. In fact, Canada is probably the most decentralized federation in the world. And the Leaders' Summit was born out of the idea and the recognition that on the issue of climate change within any given country, what we call federated states, subnational states, or whatever we want to call them, will be doing most of the work. In fact, I think it's the United Nations that had tried to measure that and came to the conclusion that about 50 to 80 percent of what will be done in terms of dealing with energy, environment, land management issues will be done by subnational governments. And so we are at the center of all of this. And the idea of the Leaders' Summit that was born from the COP meeting in Montreal in 2005 with the Climate Group was to bring together leaders of regional governments, provinces, and states so that we could focus on the work that we have in front of us and, in some cases, to lead. Lead because our federal governments were maybe more hesitant, weren't as aggressive on this issue as we felt they should be and weren't where they should be. And so, <clears throat> in that respect, we play many roles. But the central role we play is to be there and to answer the call of those who know that the future is a low carbon economy, that this future holds a great promise in terms of job creation and prosperity and economic growth. And as we combine our outlook of the world with this economic crisis, that we are part of the answer, those of us who want to see this uh, cause advance. And so we, as uh, Steve mentioned, I had the privilege of being in Rio to lead Canada's delegation, and we were the first country of the G7 in 1992 to sign the Climate Change Convention. And I was in Copenhagen, and we will be in Cancun. In Cancun, Premier Mike Rann, who's the Premier of South Australia, and I will have the honor of co-chairing another Leaders' Summit that will bring together leaders of regions, provinces, and states, and we will support you 
Madame Figueres, and the work that you will be doing. We have set a very specific project for ourselves, and that's to plant a billion trees, a billion trees worldwide by 2015. We wanted our group to have a, if not a specific project, a very important project symbolically of what we were able and willing to do, and we're already well advanced on that. As we work also with the UNDP program on the territorial approach to match regions in the globe. For example, Canada or Quebec is matched with Algeria in cooperation on the issue of, of climate change. Those are very concrete examples of what we're doing. I want to close by saying how important Climate Week is, how important the climate group is for those of us who care about this issue and need the climate group to rally around so that we can advance together. And Madame Figueres, you are on a very important mission. And I hope that the phone will ring many, many times in the future as we move ahead to deal with climate change. Thank you.